hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is concept of adapters in gene cloning this concept adapters can be used in conjunction with an important enzyme called ligases which join dna molecules together by synthesizing phosphodiester bonds between nucleotides at the ends of two different molecules or the two ends of a single molecule for example dna ligases t4 ligases in this video i am going to discuss two aspects namely first a short introduction to adapters and second how the adapter process actually takes place but before going into the details i want you all to understand broad classification of enzymes used in gene cloning i have already uploaded video of it on my youtube channel link is in the description so please go through it it will help you to understand this topic better so without a further delay let us understand concept of adapters in gene cloning and yes if you all want to understand role of linkers in gene cloning because they both are interlinked i have already uploaded a video of it on my channel link is in the description if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads adapters like linkers are short synthetic oligonucleotides but unlike linkers an adapter is synthesized so that it already has one sticky end the idea is to ligate the blunt end of the adapter to the blunt ends of the dna fragment to produce a new molecule with sticky ends this may appear to be a simple method but in practice a new problem arises the sticky ends of the individual adapter molecules could base pair with each other to form dimers thus the new dna molecule is still blunt ended adapter molecules are synthesized so that the blunt end is the same as natural dna but the sticky end is different the 3 prime oh terminus of the sticky end is same as usual but the 5 prime p terminus is modified it lacks the phosphate group and is in fact a 5 prime oh terminus DNA ligase is unable to form a phosphodiester bridge between 5 prime OH and 3 prime OH ends. The result is that although base pairing is always occurring between the sticky ends of the adapter molecules, the association is never stabilized by ligation. Adapters can therefore be ligated to a DNA molecule but not to themselves. After the adapters have been attached, the abnormal 5 prime OH terminus is converted to the natural 5 prime P form by treatment with enzyme polynucleotide kinase producing a sticky ended fragment that can be inserted into an appropriate vector. Polynucleotide kinase catalyzes the transfer of the terminal phosphate group of ATP to the 5 prime hydroxylated terminal of DNA or RNA. This enzyme is frequently used to end label nucleic acid with P32. This end labeling is very significant in restriction mapping, DNA sequencing, hybridization analysis, etc. If you are watching my video for the first time, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone. Thank you.